Hi guys, good day. Today I'll be sharing with you how I detail painted and weathered the 1 is to 144 Gundam Barbatos using cheap acrylic paint, chalk pastels, and hardware bought silver enamel paint. Okay, so same procedure as before when I worked on the gym. I carefully hand paint each detail using Reeves acrylic paint. For me, one of the advantages of hand painting is that I don't have to mask as much as when I'm airbrushing or spray painting. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just masking off some of the areas that I think might get hit by the brush as I paint some of the internal details. Also, before I painted this, I spray painted the whole kit with flat clear coat so that the paint has something to grip onto instead of just the bare plastic. Recessed details are a bit tricky, but since we're working on an unpainted kit and it would be easy to scrape off paint that's outside of the recessed areas, I just paint as carefully as I can, knowing that whatever stray paint that comes out can be easily scraped off with a hobby knife. Now, if this kit was painted, um, it would be a different story. I'd probably make another video on how I deal with those types of situations. Anyway. My main goal during this phase is to make sure that the paint inside is solid and flat. Okay, so as you can see here, the paint application is clean, while on the leg part, it's kinda sloppy. So what you do is you get a sharp hobby knife and gently scrape away at the paint that's outside the grooves on the kit. So at this point, I'm just using a gold metallic pen to fill in some of the details. I uh, find this quite convenient, especially when I'm not looking for a sharp and clean finish. Detailing the eyes is a bit hard. Uh, what I do is I use a fine brush to paint in the green and just use a mix of paint that's a bit runny to fill in the black areas between the eyes. I then gently scrape off whatever mistakes I made. As 
As you can see here, uh, some modification of the head part allows me to easily reinsert the face back into the head after it has already been assembled. Okay, so now you'll see me do the weathering for this kit. I use chalk pastels to add some dirt and grime to the barbatos. There's nothing much to it really, you just need to be patient when you're building up the grime. I also used a kneadable rubber eraser to clean up some of the parts that I think I overdid. I used a combination of a large flat brush and a number zero pointed brush for a more controlled streaking effect. some metallic effects I use some old quick dry silver enamel to dry brush on the black parts this effect does not work well on white so I just decided not to do it and I also use the same paint to add some paint chips on the dark blue parts of the barbatos see that I've added some paint chipping. For this technique, I use a dark gray mix of still Reeves acrylic and I used a toothpick to apply the paint. I think I overdid this part and in hindsight, I would have gone for a more sparse and controlled application.
After the paint chipping effect has dried up, I spray painted the whole kit with a glossy top coat. And after it has dried, I proceeded to do some pin washing on the recessed parts as well as on some of the sharp corners of the kit. I used a dark brown color for this which is again a very diluted mix of Reeves acrylic. This simulates paint and grime buildup and after everything has dried, I added a top coat of Bosnie flat clear. you are and thanks for watching now i'll be posting a more detailed video review of the barbatos and its weapons next time this video took quite a while because i've only been doing model kit related stuff during breaks because of work and because we'll be having a baby boy soon so please do like comment and subscribe god bless guys